Okay, so I'm going to make a quick video. Um, this is just showing how to cement a crown onto a tie base. Um, a lot of you may already know this and may be, you know, kind of old news, but uh, just in case it's not, this is sort of a technique that I initially learned from Michael Scramstead um, throughout the kind of CEREC workflow. This is a decade ago. Um, so now we're, um, I have a slight modification to it in the second half, but for now I just want to show you, first of all, I've attached the tie base that I'm going to use, or whatever abutment, to an analog that gives me something more to hold on to. And here's my crown. The crown's already ready to go. This is already, you know, the one I use has already been sandblasted. This is a, um, a desk tie base. And so, really, I just want to figure out how to align it, get it timed right so I know the process. And the biggest, <laughs> sorry, the biggest difference that you're going to notice about this is most people are so used to filling the crowns. The problem is that fills the, uh, the screw hole. It can get into the abutment. It's just a mess. Um, and why not make it easier? So what I'm going to do is I am going to trace just a, ooh, a little bit extra waste there. I'm going to make a small bead right around the very top of this abutment. And that's it. We don't need a lot because there's not a lot of space to fill because it's a precision fit. I slide it on here. Now I'm using these, these are for my uh, centering nut or my um, ceramic oven. Use whatever you can to grab on. Now I'm just kind of holding it. There are different devices to hold this lock down. I still like the old wood clamp. Cheap on Amazon. Get a four pack and get a couple to take home with you. And just snug. It doesn't have to be cinched down super tight. And that's it. So in the second half of the video, I'll come back in about 10 minutes or later to show you how I then clean off this cement. So again, back, it's been a while. Um, one thing that you may notice if you've done this technique before is that I do not clean off the cement um, with like a, a cotton roll or anything. I wait till it's all set. And yeah, it gets a little bit liquidy, you know, wet on the outside, but it's solid. And what I do is very carefully, and you can usually, I will take, um, I have one of these, I get this on Amazon, it's like 13 bucks. It's really what's called a hand drill. It's meant for you know, drilling into wood, um, but it works great as, a, as an abutment holder. You can actually store things in there, other analogs. So, or now all I have to do is just slide there, and it usually actually comes off in two pieces once you basically break the cement. And so it's all off of there, other than just residual lines. Instead of having to make a mess with the cotton roll, getting it all over the place, now I just wipe it with alcohol, and it's good. So that's how I cement and clean up the cement, and it really takes me about two minutes or so of actual total work, um, you know, a minute up front and a minute in the end. So hopefully that helps.